All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to learn about solving multi-step inequalities. All right, and I'm going to throw in a crazy one. Um, most of the time, solving um, an inequality is the exact same as solving like a regular equation with an equal sign. You know, if you're solving for x, it's the exact same way unless you multiply or divide a negative across that 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 greater than or less than sign or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to sign. And guess what I threw in here for you guys? A negative. All right, now if you wanted, you could distribute that in there and then solve it. I think it's easier. It takes out some of uh, that distributive step if you just get rid of the negative two. All right, so I'm just going to divide both sides by negative two. I'm dividing because they're being multiplied, so you do the opposite. You do it to one side, you got to do the other. That cancels out. Why does it cancel out? Because negative two divided by negative two is one. And one times anything is just going to be whatever this is. All right, now. Any time, like I said earlier, any time you divide or multiply a negative across a sign, the sign flips. Therefore, now this goes this way. And everything else comes down just the same as it was. So we got x plus 3 on this side, and then we do negative 32 divided by negative 2, which is positive 16. And you're thinking, well, that's a positive right there. I don't have to flip the sign. Yes, you do. Every time you divide or multiply a negative across this sign, you flip it. Okay, whether you go that way or this way, it doesn't matter. If you divide it or multiply it, you got to flip the sign, which we did. All right, last step, opposite of adding 3, subtract 3, and x is less than 13. And you're done, bro. Peace. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com. You heard of the dude. Check these things out. I think I would appreciate it a lot.